a way to verify the changes in the three kinds of liquid volume flow on Aspen High Seas at the same time is adding a table to my process simulation. To do that, I just need to highlight my material stream, click with the right button of my mouse, and I will choose Show Table. With that, I have a table with some standard information like temperature, pressure, molar flow. If I click two times, I can add variables, and in this case, I will add the variables related to liquids. I want the actual liquid volume, volume flow or actual liquid flow. I want the liquid flow at standard conditions. And finally, I want the standard ideal liquid volume flow. So with that, I have the three formation in my process simulation. I can verify that again in just one place. Verify that my actual liquid volume flow is based on cubic meter per second. So I will change that to let our life easier. Now all of them are at the same basis. So what I will do to evaluate what's happening. We have seen that the Liquid volume flow at standard condition are based on 60 Fahrenheit and 1 ATM. When I do that, my actual volume flow matches with liquid volume flow at standard conditions. In this case, the Aspen High Seas get the information of the mass density as a calculation of the process based on the pressure and temperature at standard condition. But when we are talking about standard ideal liquid volume flow, the information of mass density comes from the database of the Aspen High Seas. So, Eventually, because the roundings of the numbers will not have the same value. We can verify the reference for the mass density returning to the feed stream, going to properties, and here I have the mass density used to perform the calculation of the liquid volume flow at standard condition, 998.9. If I want to verify what is the standard ideal liquid mass density, I can return it to my properties, double click on my components, and here I will verify what is the value considered for the calculations. Liquid ideal, ideal liquid density as 998.0. So you can see that there is a slight differences between ideal liquid density and the mass density at standard conditions. And that justifies the differences in the results.